Good evening, Sons and Daughters of God, for January 3rd. The reading is entitled, That When Christ Appears, We Shall Be Like Him. The scripture reading is taken from 1 John 3, verse 2. Beloved, now are we the sons of God, and it doth not appear what we shall be, but we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. We are not to settle down expecting that a change of character will come to us by some miraculous work when Jesus shall appear in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. No, my young friends, we are judgment bound and probation is granted to us here in this life in order that we may form characters for the future immortal life. Let none imagine that selfishness, self-esteem, and self-indulgence are compatible with the Spirit of Christ. Upon every truly converted man or woman, there rests a responsibility that we cannot rightly estimate. The maxims and ways of the world are not to be adopted by the sons and daughters of the heavenly king. In separating from the world, we shall encounter difficulties on every hand. But here is comfort to us. Beloved, now are we the sons of God, and it doth not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. We should show by our words and works that we recognize the great responsibility laid upon us. Our light should shine so clearly that others can see that we glorify the Father in our daily lives, that we are connected with heaven and are joint heirs with Jesus Christ. To have fellowship with the Father and His Son, Jesus Christ, is to be ennobled and elevated and made a partaker of joys unspeakable and full of glory. Food, clothing, station, and wealth may have their value, but to have a connection with God is of priceless value. And although it doth not yet appear what we shall be, when Christ, who is our life, shall appear, we shall be like him. Thank you for listening.